scope in javascript is directly related to lexical environment okay lexical environment i know it sounds a little complicated but it's a very classic concept in javascript okay if you understand lexical environment it will be very easy for you to understand scope the scope chain and it will also help us understand closures also okay so just pay attention carefully and we'll be seeing a lot of examples today so let's take a function and let's call this function a okay and along with this function let us also take a var b okay let us assign it 10 and what should we do is let us just invoke this function so what i am trying to tell is that can we access this b inside a let us try to check so what do you think this will output okay if i do a console log inside a what do you think will be the output see when javascript engine reach this line and it tries to execute console log b what will javascript do javascript will try to find out whether b exists in the local memory space or not okay when i say local memory space javascript engine will try to find this b inside the local memory of this a's execution context okay this function a's local memory it will try to find out b and it won't be there right because we never created b inside that function isn't it so now what will happen will it print undefined remember that special placeholder in case of hoisting will it print undefined or will it print not defined like the b never existed or will it directly print the value 10 what will happen interesting right so if we run this code let us see it prints up 10 right so it prints up 10 that means somehow inside this function right this b can access the b which was outside this function okay so this was easy but let's make things a little more complex so if i put in another function inside this right inside this a and if i try to access b inside this function okay if i try to access b inside this function what will happen now what will it print think of it will i still get access to b or will it be undefined or not defined or anything else or null or something empty what it will be so can i access b let us just run and see so let us invoke this function also okay so if we invoke this function now if i run my program so here it is so it can again access 10 so that means even inside the function which is inside another function which is inside the global scope i can access b right and what if vice versa suppose if i had this b suppose if i take this b and if i put this b inside here right if i put this b inside here can i still access it inside c let us see yes i can still access but 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 can i access this b outside this function what do you think the output will be what will happen if i run this it says b is not defined interesting isn't it it says b is not defined so here comes scope into picture now i'll tell you the easiest definition of scope okay so scope means where you can access a specific variable or a function in our code okay that is scope see there are two aspects to it i'll tell you both so first is what is the scope of this variable okay so what is the scope of this variable b that means where can i access this variable b okay that is scope and the other way of seeing it is is b inside the scope okay so when i say is b inside the scope of function c so that means can i access this b inside c so there are two ways to look at it first is what is the scope of a variable b and one is is b inside a scope of a function so 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 people use it in different ways but it's like almost the same thing and as i told you in the beginning of the video scope is directly dependent on the lexical environment okay now let us see what is lexical environment with a visual representation visual will be the best way to fit inside our head that lexical environment let us see it now when we run this program a global execution context is created and it is put onto the call stack remember right and let us make this call stack so here is our call stack okay and what happens is a global execution context is created and it is pushed inside it 
so let us make this global execution context okay it is pushed on to the call stack so this global execution context as you already know it is the global execution context okay so this global execution context as you already know has memory and code section in it right so what will happen when you run this program it will try to assign values to the global variables and functions right so it will try to assign value to a here right a is in the global space so let us try to assign that value okay it will assign value to a here it will point it to the function reference then what will happen it will invoke this function what will happen when you invoke a function an execution context is created right so let us create the execution context for a also now so here we created an execution context for a also it again has two parts the memory and the code right and now this function a will reserve memory for this variable b isn't it so b and this function c right so b and c will be reserved this memory here so what will happen so initially b will be set to undefined and c will be set to the function reference right and once it starts executing the code now b will become 10 right this is how the code is executed remember from the previous videos so what will happen now it will go to the next line okay it will put in 10 over here and it will go to the next line this is again a function invocation what happens in a function invocation again an execution context is created let us quickly create one okay uh, and it is again pushed onto the call stack now this is the this is the execution context of c okay this is the c and this is a function a invocation okay so and again a memory is set up right again memory and code is here right so there is nothing to set up in c so let us keep it right here so now i will tell you what is lexical environment just pay attention very carefully and listen to me okay so wherever an execution context is created a lexical environment is also created okay so lexical environment is the local memory along with the lexical environment of its parent okay so let me repeat it once again it's a very core concept remember this lexical environment is the local memory along with the lexical environment of its parent okay what is parent first of all let me tell you what is lexical okay so lexical as a term means in hierarchy or in a sequence or uh, in in this code terms i'll tell you what lexical is so you can say that c function is lexically sitting inside a function okay this c function is lexically inside a function okay that means lexical in order or in hierarchy okay which is and in code terms you can assume it to be where that specific code is present physically inside the code right so this function c is present physically inside a right so that means c is lexically inside a and a is lexically inside the global scope right so this is known as lexical so when i say lexical environment that means the local memory along with lexical environment of the parent let me show you visually so whenever this execution context is created you also get reference to the lexical environment of its parent okay so along with the memory space along with the variables and functions in this memory space you also get this orange thing okay this orange thing you can assume it to be a reference to the lexical environment of its parent okay so in this case this orange thing is pointing to the lexical environment of its parent what is it so lexical parent of c is a right in the code so lexical lex it is because c is lexically inside a right so that means it will get access to lexical environment of a also you know understand please understand this very carefully it will help us in longer run this is very important okay so this orange is the reference to the lexical environment of a and what is the lexical environment of a lexical environment of a is its memory space plus plus the lexical environment of a's parent okay so a also has this orange thing which is pointing to the lexical environment of the its parent okay it is the 
lexical environment of global okay and global also has this orange thing which is reference to its lexical parent right lexical environment of its parent at global level this reference to the outer environment points to null right because it has no parent in case of a it points to global right so that points to this thing okay this thing lexical environment points to this thing and in case of c it points to lexical environment of a right so this is how lexical environment looks like in the memory okay now this is the lexical environment but let us now see how this is used okay so suppose if you try to do a console log of okay console log of b inside this function c so i'll tell you what happens okay when javascript engine encounters this line right so it tries to find out b inside the local memory of c okay first of all it will try to find out if there b exists in the local memory or not okay it won't find because there is no b inside this local memory okay so now what happens javascript engine goes to this reference and goes to the lexical environment of its parent okay so lexical means where it is lexically or physically present in the code so c is physically present inside a right so c's lexical parent is a so it will go to the lexical environment of a okay so now it will try to search for b inside the lexical environment of a it finds out b over here okay it finds out b over here so it just goes back and it prints up b inside the console that is why you see the value 10 printed on the console okay this is how it works so suppose if b was not there inside a also suppose if we don't if we didn't had this line okay if we didn't had this line so what would have happened after searching over here it would have again gone to the lexical environment of a's parent okay so now it will have it would have tried to find out b inside this global execution context lexical environment okay that global lexical environment okay and there was no b over here also suppose we never declared b anywhere in our code right so what happens now it goes to the lexical environment of global parent also because it was not there in global local memory of global right so it goes and searches for the uh, lexical environment of global parent okay and it finds null so that means it ended right now there is no more lexical environments to search for right physically we have moved to the outer environment we have moved to another outer environment and we have exhausted right now we have reached null right so what will happen now the program stops and js engine says that b is not defined so you get that error b is not defined then you will say that b is not in the scope right now let me tell you a beautiful thing okay so this way and this mechanism are finding the variables right like suppose b was first search in the local memory it was not there inside then it went to the reference of the outer parent right parents lexical environment it was not ever over here suppose this was not here okay if it was not here then it moves to the parent of that lexical environment okay it goes to the parent is goes to a parent okay so this way of finding is known as scope chain so a scope chain is nothing but this chain of all these lexical environment and the parent references this is what is scope chain nothing else okay so if javascript engine does not find anything in the local memory it goes one next level of the scope chain okay if it does not find in the local memory it goes next level of the scope chain and if it does not find it goes to the next level of the scope chain okay so this whole chain of lexical environment is known as the scope chain okay nothing else so what did we whole studied right we studied what is the scope what is lexical environment and what is scope chain so let's just quickly revise okay it will fit inside our head please quickly revise okay so what is lexical environment lexical environment is created whenever an execution context is created okay and lexical environment is the local memory plus reference to the lexical environment okay lexical environment of parent okay and when i say parent it is the lexical parent lexical parent means where 
actually that function sits inside the code so c is lexically inside a that means c is lexical parent is a a is lexical parent is global okay so lexical environment is what local memory plus lexical environment of parent so what is lexical environment here local memory and lexical environment of parent so this is what is lexical environment and this whole chain of lexical environments is known as the scope chain and it defines whether a variable or function is present inside the scope or not if the scope chain is exhausted and variable is not found that means it is not inside the scope chain so now let us just see all these visual representations inside the browser and you will be amazed to see how beautifully it works inside the browser okay let's just see okay so let me just put a debugger over here in the source in our program if i put a debugger inside this console log statement right so now let us just run this code and we'll see see this call stack this call stack is beautiful right just like i showed you in the visual representation this call stack has all these three execution context this is the anonymous is the global execution context right and on top of it it has the a's execution context and on top of it we have c's execution context right so let us go to the global execution context here you see the lexical environment here you see the scope what you can access inside this global execution context okay this is the local memory of global execution context okay so here you will find a also okay so this is it right now we'll see an interesting thing what is the lexical environment of a so what was the lexical environment of a so lexical environment of a is local memory of a along with the lexical environment of its parent parent was global so local memory plus lexical environment of parent see it is same right so let's now see c's lexical environment okay lexical environment of c is the local memory of c along with that its parents lexical environment what is the lexical environment of a and lexical environment of its parent right so here it is c so c has access to all these variables and functions you know you might find that okay here we have here something is written as closure right so we will study in deep inside the closure video but you can see that this is a little closure okay this is a closure this is already a closure if i tell you right now so c has already enclosed inside a right enclosed inside a and this is what closure is but we will talk a little more deep inside the closure video altogether but for now you can assume that this is the lexical environment of a which c can access to okay c has access to the lexical environment of its parent and this is only is known as closure to be uh, seen in the coming videos but for now just understand that c has access to the scope of a also okay and this whole chain right this whole chain this is the local and the lexical environment of its parent and its parent this whole chain is known as the scope chain this is what it is this is how it looks like in the browser this was all the basics of javascript in the next video we will see how let and const behave differently in hosting as well as in scope right so let and const which was introduced in es6 behaves very differently in terms of scope as well as hosting okay in the next videos i will be covering more about let and const okay everybody was telling in the comments that where is let and const see these are the basics of javascript when javascript was built these were the core fundamentals let and const have come up recently right so let us cover that also in depth i will be talking about what happens in case of let what happens in case of const and how these behave differently than where and how hosting works for them how scope works for them what is a block scope everything will be covered in the next video before moving on to that video like this video it gives me a huge motivation tell me whether you understood scope or not and are you feeling excited or not till then thank you for watching namaste javascript